Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Premiere Elements 2020 to fix stuck or hot pixel on video footages. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ka. I love to make review videos on gadgets that I get for entertainment and cooking. I also like to share vlogs of my favorite re recipes. Now, if I learn something new in related to health and video production, I'm also going to make a review and tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. So today I am going to talk about how to remove a stuck or hot pixel in video footages. A stuck or hot pixel is a common defect in camera sensor. It appears as a red dot under long exposure with high ISO. It could happen in brand new or aging cameras. Now, my six-year-old Samsung camera is also having the same problem now. Now, I know there are a lot of video or tutorials showing you how to remove these uh, stuck pixels in Premiere Pro or Premiere After Effects. Now, unfortunately, I cannot run those programs because my computer, again, is old. So what are you going to do with these old technology when you don't have the money to invest or you don't want to invest too much in video production? What can you do? So I am going to show you uh, how to use Premiere Elements okay, on an older computer to fix this stuck pixel problem today. And without further talking, let's go to the screen. Alright, so we are here in the Adobe Premiere Element 2020 screen under the expert mode again. So I have already imported my video that has this red dot or stuck pixel or hot pixel, uh, whichever uh, you call it, there's a lot of name for it. So I'm uh, a little rendering and to see where it is exactly. Okay. Now, so I have already added a layer to it, but now I'm going to show you how to add the adjustment layer, okay? You have to put an adjustment layer so um, to make these uh, corrections on top, okay, of your original footage. So I'm, right now I masked the previous one, and I'm going to show you uh, the step-by-step -step how to uh, mask off this um, stuck pixel in this um, tutorial. So first this adjustment layer cover the entire uh, area of the clip. Um, now I'm just uh, making it smaller, as small as possible, because their pixel is very small usually, and I'm going to um, make it small and then uh, just write it, um, you know, just big enough to bracket the um, red dot there. Now I need to magnify my footage. So it's here, here. Um, showing you the red dot okay I'm gonna move the center of this um, adjustment layer to onto the red dot and again I'm making it as small as possible okay so after I have make it small enough I'm going to put the effect um, to mask off this red dot which is the Gaussian blur okay Gaussian blur all right. The one of the bad thing about this um, element program is that it just won't fix on the position that you're working on. Every time you change the magnifications or you apply effect, it kind of just default into the dead center of the um, video. So I need to readjust that. Um, okay. So right now I turn on the, uh, there's another uh, rendering timeline bar on your uh, um, effect adjustment layer. Okay, so I'm just kind of dragging it to see uh, how much of that red dot is moving. Now I'm going to um, turn on, okay, the little clock figure there um, so that the toggle with, so that you can render. Uh, your effect as it goes. So basically as you move your timeline uh, along the track um, and then you can also move your bracket along with it. Basically as you are moving your um, blur area um, as the um, time goes. So basically 
it's a small slow adjustment basic you you move a couple seconds see where the red dot goes and then you move your your bracket basically trying to predict its path or catch it up so you can see as I drag along a few uh, seconds now there is a line showing you uh, how the um, adjustment layer move along with the uh, the dog. Now, so I'm speeding it up. Okay, it takes a little while to do it, but you get the concept as I'm uh, moving my timeline. I'm also moving my adjustment layer so that it's covering that red dot constantly. Okay, now so here comes to the end. Uh, so I basically move the uh, camera in a little circle in a way. Okay, so that's all. Now uh, I think the path is all right. We're going to save the progress. Now I'm going to go back to um, the Gaussian blur adjustment. I want to make it even more blurry to blur out that red dot. Now you can still see some of the red dot, but as I drag along the Gaussian blur uh, adjustment line to about 40, um, they basically just disappeared into the background of the original footage. Alright, so let's get back out from the editing panel and um, take a look. Okay, see if it it you know the my adjustment path. Okay, the layer follows the red dot uh, completely. So I'm just um, double checking, see if that is um, rendering in a in a good way. Like so, um, now you may not see your your side of the video when I'm double checking and see there's a small, um, you know, point where my uh, blurry adjustment layer is not following the red dot. So I'm only going to go back and fix that again. So I'm not going to show you that refixing, but I am going to show you the completed video footage side by side. Now here you can see. Uh, the red dot on the um, left hand side is disappeared compared to the right hand side before. If you learned something from today's video, please give me a thumbs up and a like and feel free to leave comments to have a discussion with me. It really makes a difference to my channel. Now, until then, I'll see you next week again. Bye!